Hello everyone, we are going to cover the financial enhancements that are being made for Clarity PPM 15.8. So what's new in uh, 15.8? We are adding a new financial module in our 15.8 for projects, ideas, and custom investment types. This new financial module is going to be based on the common grid component and it'll support cost plans and budgets. The reason we are adding this uh, new financial module is because customers have asked us the ability to uh, track financials against ideas and custom investment types while in the modern UX itself. Um, so using this common component, we are able to use the functionality across multiple objects and also giving functionality to our customers where they can track those uh, financials for custom investment types that uh, could not be done uh, up till now. Customers um, will be able to see all the financial data and they can also share the saved views across those multiple objects uh, where the financial uh, common grid is being used. So let's talk about the financial module itself. The new financial module is going to be available in the blueprint for all the three uh, objects, which is the projects, ideas, and custom investment types. They are automatically added for the default blueprint for uh, ideas and custom investment types. And when I mean they're added, um, they are included in the view part of the ideas and custom investment types. So as you can see in the screen, when I look at the default uh, idea, the financial module is already included as one of the tabs for my idea. And the same goes for my custom investment type. For project, the new module is available and it can be included in the blueprint based on the copy of the blueprint that you would make. The new financials module is based on the common grid component and the layout is as follows. When this module is added to your blueprint, you would see when accessing this module, you will see the sub pages which will list the cost plans and budgets. You will have the option to create new cost plans using the same common grid functionality of using the plus button, which will give you the new row and you can populate the required fields. You have the option to control the layout for your uh, cost plan using the columns field. And you can add and remove columns as needed. Selecting an individual cost plan will also give you the details uh, flyout where you can also use to populate additional information. You can filter, if you have multiple cost plans, you can filter them down to uh, the specific one that you're looking for. You have the option to then save the views based on uh, the columns that you've selected and then filter through those different views. The views that are saved in a specific um, cost plan is available across uh, other cost plans as well as available in the financials for other objects such as ideas, projects, and custom investment types. When going inside the cost plans, the cost plan details is also based on the common component. And the layout for that is as follows. Uh, once going inside a specific cost plan, we provide you the breadcrumbs, which is essentially a path to uh, what you're looking at. The first Link is just telling whether you're in the cost plans or in budget plans. The next is the name of the specific one that you're looking at. So in this case, I'm looking at the cost plans and it's cost plan by cost type and transaction class. You have the same common grid functionality where you can see the data in TSV and you can add or remove columns to this as needed. The action menu is right next to the name of the cost plan you're looking at. And the action items are mostly the same except with a one small difference between idea, which we'll cover in a bit. The layout, you can control the options for that layout by seeing how you wanna see the decimal. You can control uh, what period metrics you wanna see, and you can control the start and finish. You also have the option to filter down and be able to save those views for the cost plan details. Cost plan details can be populated using either the allocations or assignments for project and custom investment types. You can delete as well as export the, um, the entire uh, cost plan details. The menu that comes up for projects, 
and custom investment types allows you to submit that cost plan for approval. You can generate the cost plan details from either allocations and assignments. You can make a copy of that cost plan to create a new class plan. You can delete the cost plan or export the cost plan details out. Ideas, you can generate the cost plan details using populate from allocations and then the rest of the functionalities are the same as projects and custom investment types when you're making a copy of the cost plan new screen will pop up which will essentially ask you uh, more details if you want to make the entire copy of that cost plan or you just want a sub uh, uh, sub values for that specific cost plan that you're trying to make a copy of you can also associate the existing benefit plan to it and once done so, a new copy will be created based on the information selected. This is the same functionality that does exist in Classic, and now you're able to do that from the modern UX. So with that, let's uh, go into the product and let's look at the new financials module that has been added to our uh, modern UX. I will begin by going into our application and I'm going to start by showing you the blueprints itself. So I'm in 15.8. I'm going to go into the administration side as an administrator. In the blueprints, first I want to start off with ideas. And if you look at the out of the box standard idea, when you when I go inside, and look at the modules, you can see that financials is automatically added to my default view that comes out of the box. I can make a copy of that and then I can essentially remove it if I want to or I can just leave it there. So I can remove it if I want to. Same goes with my custom investment type. So I'm going to pick my custom investment type. And there is the financials modules right there that has been added to my view. If I go into the project, by default, you will see that the financial module is available for me to be added. And I can make a copy of my blueprint and I can then include that financials into my tab as I need to. Now I'm going to go into a custom investment type. And I'm going to go specifically to one of my custom investment types where I am tracking the financials for my medical centers. So within my custom investment types, when I go inside the uh, specific custom investment, I can see that there is my new uh, financials module. I can go in there and now within that financials modules, you can see that the cost plans and budgets are available as a sub menu to me. I can click on either one and see those specific details. There is a cost plan that is already created for me or I can create a new one. I have the option using the same common grid to see all the different attributes that I can include in my view. I can filter it down to specific ones. If I have multiple of these created, I can use the filter criteria. I have additional options to uh, see the decimal places. And of course, the save view. I can go inside my cost plan and there I can see the breadcrumb. I have all the cost plan details available to me and I can same thing I can I have the options to see additional data points whether it's the totals actuals and so on I have the option to include any one of these uh, items into my view and then I can save that view let's go look at uh, the same functionality in ideas when I go to ideas I can see, um, I can go inside any specific idea and I can see the financials for it. So in this case, I'm gonna go into an idea for uh, the new ambulance that I wanna request for my New York Medical Center. There is my financials module. I can see the same, which is I have the cost plans and budgets. I can see the two different, uh, in this case, cost plans that have been created. I can go inside any one of this and I have the option to 
create my cost plan based on the allocation. So there is my um, sub action where I can then click on and say, create my cost plans from allocations. It does that and it's uh, showing me the values based on the staff that has been assigned to my ideas. And lastly, let's go into my projects and I should be able to see the same. I'm going to find for my uh, online order entry. Here I can look at the financials that has been created. Again, you can see it's the same view. I have all the same common grid components. I can go inside and I can see uh, the different ideas and I can see the action in this case. I can populate it based on allocations or assignment. I have the option to make a copy of this. When I do that, it'll ask me for the name, the ID, and if I want it for the exact duration, and if I want to associate the same benefit plan that exists or any other benefit plan that I would want to create. In this case, I only have one. I can either delete this entire cost plan, as long as it's not the plan of record, and I can then export it out to CSV. If you notice the view, um, it's the same view. I went through three different objects and the views is exactly the same between the three different objects. And that's because the view that was uh, created and uh, picked as my favorite for uh, uh, ideas is the same that is available to me across projects and custom investment types. And uh, so that's showing you that the views are shared across different objects. Uh, in this case for financials. That concludes my demo for the financials module. Thank you.